my friend Rob asked me to help him record some golf tips. If you want a quick start video for shooting with the Nikon D850, let me help. Now these are the basics for beginners, but afterwards stay tuned and I'll give you some advanced tips. Use an XQD memory card if you have, otherwise SD rated U3 or higher. On the setup menu, after you make sure the content on the cards has been backed up, format the cards. On the movie shooting menu, select destination, although there's dual recording backup for stills, not for video. Check that the focus switches on the lens and the camera are on A, and if the lens has VR, turn it on. Switch to the movie position and press the live view button. There are several screen options, press info to cycle through. A clean screen with the basic exposure settings, a grid, although I'd prefer thirds rather than quarters division, a histogram to check exposure, more details on that later, and a level. Now I prefer this screen. It's a little cluttered, but it allows me to check audio levels using the meter bottom left. Press mode and select M. Use the back dial to set the shutter to 1 60th and the front dial to set the aperture. I've selected f4 for a shallow depth of field to make Rob stand out from a blurred background. Increase the depth of field with a larger f number. Press the ISO button and turn the front dial to ISO auto. Press the meter button and use the back dial to select the appropriate meter setting. I'm using matrix, but if your subject is in the spotlight, use highlight spot, the one with the asterisk. Press I and check that the image area is FX, but it's worth noting that you can increase your lens's reach by using DX with little loss in quality. I'm shooting 4K 30, for technical reasons I can't demonstrate that in this video. If your computer can't handle it, use 1080 30, it's the HD standard. Movie quality high, you didn't buy the D850 to produce crap. Unless you're using an external mic, I'll cover that in a minute, use auto mic sensitivity and put the attenuator on in case there are loud sounds. Wide frequency, wind noise based on your location, monitor brightness as required. Multi-selector power aperture, leave that off, along with the multi-selector exposure compensation. Highlight display off, but I'll cover that in a minute too, and VR on unless you're using a tripod. Press WB and use the rear dial to set the white balance. Don't use auto for video. And if you like, press the key and select a picture control. This is for personal taste. I usually select neutral. Press the focus button and select AFS and wide. Now to focus an object, just touch it on the screen. Or use the joystick to position and press the AF on button. Try not to do this while you're recording. Press the red button to start recording. Remember that individual segments are limited to 30 minutes. The camera will stop when the 30 minutes is up, but you can start again right away. Well, that should get you rolling. Now, let me share some advanced tips with you. These are the settings that will give you a little more control. Let's start with exposure. And although you can probably judge what's over and underexposed by looking, the histogram gives you some additional information. The display should be centered to be properly exposed. And if it's not, or if for artistic reasons you want the scene to look darker or brighter, first turn the auto ISO off, then use the back dial to set the ISO to your preference. You can adjust the ISO while you're recording, and you can also make aperture adjustments by turning the multi-selector aperture on. Then use the multi-selector to change the aperture but for changing lighting conditions, the auto ISO will do a better job. To make sure you're not blowing out highlights, turn the highlight display on by selecting a pattern. The only difference is the direction of the stripes. Using the custom setting menu G2, set the level at which the stripes will appear. 248 is just below the maximum level of 255. Then, as you adjust your ISO or aperture, you'll be able to make sure none of the scene is overexposed. If you do have a very contrasty setting and don't mind making some adjustments to the color while editing, using the flat profile will increase the dynamic range by a couple of stops. For more accurate color, set a custom white balance, which is really easy with the D850. Press WB and select a preset, then hold the WB button until pre-flashes. 
touch the screen on a white subject, and save the setting. When autofocus doesn't do what you want, use manual. Just turn the switch on the camera to M. To help focus, press the magnify button to close in on your subject. Press demagnify to return to a normal view. And they want to try and help the ball up. For better audio, or really for anything other than general background sound, use an external mic. Rob wore a Rodelink Wireless. It plugs into the mic in, and I'd recommend you use a headphone to monitor audio. And set the level manually by watching the meters, which should go into the yellow, but only rarely red. There's one accessory that I find very useful a viewfinder adapter for the screen. It provides both stability and makes the screen easier to see on sunny days. If you have an external monitor or recorder, the D850 has an HDMI connector and a cable clip to hold it securely. Configure it on the setup menu HDMI. You can set the output resolution if auto doesn't work, and if you have an Atomos recorder, use the camera's recording button to start and stop the recorder. The output range can limit the output, useful for some pro broadcast situations, and the output display size can be reduced, useful for some monitors but not for recording. Turn the on-to-screen display off if you're recording, but it's off automatically if you're recording 4K. Dual monitor turns the camera screen off, but you'll still see the menu on the camera. The D850 has two interesting effect features. 4 and 5 times slow motion at HD resolutions, as well as a time-lapse mode with an extensive range of settings for interval and shooting time. Silent means you won't hear the shutter click with every shot. You can't take stills while recording video. If you press the shutter, recording will stop. As always, thanks for watching. I hope this helps. If you have relevant questions or civil comments, please leave them in the field below. I do answer and reply to all of your comments and questions. And don't be afraid to subscribe.